Incident report is out on the police officer accused of breaking the neck of a World War II veteran. This is Daniel Daly lying in the hospital. He is finally out of a coma. The Orlando Police Department says its officer did nothing wrong when he used a technique to subdue Mr. Daly, a move that broke his neck. Right now, uh, Fox 25's Holly Bristow is live in Orlando with a look at the report and why Orlando police are standing by its officer. Holly? But Bob, the case is closed. The internal affairs investigation is over. Chief Val Demings and six high-ranking officials here at the Orlando Police Department say that Officer Travis Lamont did nothing wrong when he took down the 84-year-old and broke his neck. They do say that the neck breaking was an unfortunate part of that takedown. I did speak with the 84-year-old's attorney today. He tells me that this report isn't worth the paper it's been printed on. Take a look. Six senior-ranking Orlando police supervisors signed off on approving the level of force Travis Lamont used when he took down 84-year-old Daniel Daly in this parking lot September 18th. That takedown broke Daly's neck, and he's been in the hospital ever since. The report reads, quote, due to the sudden aggressive actions by the subject, coupled with the subject's statement of intention to, quote, knock this cop out, I find the officer's use of control technique to be the appropriate response in keeping with department policy. Officer Lamont was called out here after Daly got into an argument with a tow truck driver who was about to haul his car off. According to the officer's report, Daly kept putting his hands on the officer's shoulders even after the officer told him, quote, sir, please don't touch me. The officer claims he used the push bar method after Daly lunged at him and grabbed his neck with one hand and cocked his other hand back as if to throw a punch. Daly's attorney, Mark Nijame, says this report is absurd and that the officer abused his power. The state attorney's office brought no charges within days. If an officer was being battered, why would charges be dropped? If an officer was being battered, why would four witnesses say otherwise? If an officer was being battered, why would not a fellow officer come and render aid? If an officer was being battered, um, why are they making up stories that my client had a knee to his back and was resisting with a broken neck at 84 years old? That's, that's insanity. Nijam tells me he's in the process of filing a lawsuit on Daniel Daly's behalf. I also spoke with Daniel Daly's son earlier today. He wouldn't go on camera, but off camera, he did tell me that had this been Chief Val Deming's father in this situation, he believes that the outcome of this investigation would be very different. Reporting live at Orlando Police Department tonight, Holly Bristow, Fox 35 News. And Police Chief Val Demings refused an on-camera interview today with us, but she did release this statement. After a review of the defensive tactic form by the training staff and Officer Lamont's chain of command, it appears the officer performed the technique within department guidelines. We have begun the process of reviewing the use of force policy and will make appropriate modifications. Fox 35's David Martin talked with Walter Zalisco, he's retired chief of police for Jersey City, New Jersey. And he now runs a police management consultancy right here in Central Florida. You read the report, you don't think Daly was a threat, do you? I, I don't. I've been in a number of situations where you're escorting drunk people out of the bar. They're going to rabble on and they're going to say things. Most of the time, it, it, it's just a harmless uh, verbal threat. Where do you think Officer Lamont went wrong that night? What he, if he, his intentions were to arrest this individual, he should have gave him verbal commands to place his hands behind his back, advising him that he's being placed under arrest. Secondly, if the subject resisted, then you have soft control uh, methods of force, taking the individual's arm, placing, forcefully taking it, putting it behind his back, and handcuffing him. But Officer Lamont went right to the hard control uh, method and using a knockdown uh, or takedown uh, uh, method, which, which clearly uh, wasn't justified in this situation. Val Demings, Chief of Police, says it appears the officer performed the technique within department guidelines. How do you read that? The question is not whether he used that technique properly, it's whether he should have used that technique. She now says we've begun the process of reviewing the use of force policy and will make appropriate modifications. What could she do? Just because it's written in black and white that this type of force is justified, the officer should use common sense in how to apply it and whether that situation presents itself there. Well, now you've got an officer who this will forever haunt him no matter how it turns out, right? How does he recover from this? The danger of situations like this is that in the next incident that he responds to, he may uh, put his guard down and ultimately he may be injured or someone else may be injured because he's going to be reluctant to use some type of, uh, you know, uh, escalated use of force to control the situation. 
And you can read the entire Orlando police report for yourself. It is on our website. Just go to myfoxorlando.com.